welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today I'm at Star Fisheries and in today's video we're going to be having a look at some slightly unusual varieties. Now in today's video, as you would have guessed by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be looking at the pom-pom goldfish and the bubble eye goldfish. Now I've never done a video on pom-poms or bubble eyes, so it's going to be really interesting to see the slightly odd looking different varieties. Let's head over to the pond now, let's have a close look at them before we bowl some up and have a look at them in the viewing tank. One eternity later. Just behind me here, we have a pond full of bubble eye goldfish and pom pom goldfish. Now, in this pond, we have some red and white bubble eyes. We also have some really rare blue bubble eyes as well. Now, you really don't get to see these fish that often, and there's some really nice examples in this pond. Now, obviously, they are not my cup of tea. These goldfish aren't fish that I personally would keep, but I can really appreciate them for what they are. We're going to bolt a few nice ones up. We're going to have a look at the pom-poms as well because the pom-pom goldfish are really very interesting and very, very interesting to look at as well. So first of all, let's check out the pom-poms and then we'll move on to the bubble eyes. So as you can see here, we are in front of the pom-pom and bubble eye tank. Now I'm just going to net up some of the pom-poms we've got here. Just a random scoop and then as I mentioned, we will move on to the bubble eyes. Just going to put a few of these pom pom goldfish into the bowl so we can have a close look at them and then we'll have a look at them in the viewing tank as well. Very interesting variety, almost similar to a fantail or a aranda, for example. Let me just move the bowl in front of the camera so you guys can see here. Now, obviously, you'll notice the difference between these goldfish and other goldfish are those really big pom poms sitting at the front of their faces. Now, these have a sort of fluffy appearance, a bit like wool or sort of cotton wool, and they have one either side of the head. Very, very interesting fish, very sort of different looking fish. They are sort of a chocolate color. Some of them are more of a sort of a patchy coloration with the sort of black and orange to them. And they all have these weird little pom-poms at the front of their faces. Now, some of them will have slightly larger, wider bodies. Some will have their tails a little bit more fanned out. Some are a little bit close together. You can see on this one, it has more of that sort of butterfly tail. Really, really nice splayed tail with a nice split down the middle. Very, very interesting fish. Let's get these guys in the viewing bowl or the viewing tank, I should say, sorry, and have a close look at them from the side profile. So here you can see we have four pom-pom goldfish in the viewing tank. Now these guys have a real sort of chocolate color to them and they have a similar body shape to an aranda, but don't be confused, these are a completely separate variety. Now the pom-pom goldfish can also be known as Hanafusa, which would be the variety without a dorsal fin, very closely related to a lion head or a ranchu goldfish with those pom-poms at the front. Now, the meaning of Hanafusa actually is referred to flower cluster in Japanese, which are referring to those sort of nasal bouquets or the real big fluff balls on the front of these fish. Now, the fish really should have a double split caudal fin, as you can see in all of these fish, and they can come in a brown, chocolatey brown like they are here, or a red colour. Now, you will notice that some of these fish are molting and they are changing into that more gold or red colour, and some of them may develop into a deeper dark chocolate sort of color. Now you can also get other goldfish with these sort of pom-poms or large nasal areas on other varieties like Aranda and Ranchu, but generally the pom-poms on the specific pom-pom variety are much larger. Now the pom-pom variety actually originated from China and was actually developed in Shanghai and it actually came over to the UK in around the 1930s. Now this is a very, very hard variety to get and this was actually the first time I've ever seen some in person and I've never actually seen them for sale anywhere else before. They are a very strange and weird variety but you will notice they aren't a compact fish in comparison to some varieties so they are a much stronger variety and they are really well adapted to slightly colder waters and they are a real hardy fish. Very unique and very interesting in shape, size and colour. Something to add if you are looking for a unique piece for your aquarium. Now we've had a look at those pom-pom goldfish, let's bowl up a few of the bubble eye goldfish and have a close look at them before we put them in the viewing tank. 
have a sort of side profile and that top down profile as well. There's a few different colors in here and there's some that are very, very weird and interesting that I really want to get in the bowl. So just got the bowl here. This one here is one I really want to have a look at because it has four bubbles on its head, which is really, really strange. There's also a couple more I'd like to look at. I want to have a look at a couple of red and whites and then a couple of these blue as well because there's these really, really nice blue bubble eyes. You can notice that they have these huge bubbles on the side of their heads, which are actually fluid filled sacs or vesicles, whatever you'd like to call them. And we obviously have a few different colorations of fish in this pond or this tank. So here you can see we've got three red and white fish. We've also got two blue fish as well. Now the blue fish are sort of metal or metallic grey and those red and white fish have that white base with the red pattern on them as well. You notice a few sort of veins in the bubbles on the side of their head and I think this one here actually has four bubbles attached to it which is really really unique. Now I don't think we're going to be able to see those bubbles until we put them into the side view tank. So let's shift them over to the other side of the room, get them in the tank and then we can really appreciate them from their side view. Let me know down in that comment section what you think of these guys and if you keep bubble eyes at home or you'd consider this variety. As you can see, we have a selection of bubble eyes in the viewing tank. You can see the first one actually had four bubbles, two under the chin area and one either side of the eyes. Now, contrary to belief, these bubbles are actually filled with a fluid rather than air and that is why they sort of jiggle about in the water. Now, this is definitely a Marmite kind of fish. It definitely is a selected taste now you will see we also have those blue or steel colored bubble eyes in the viewing tank as well which are even rarer than the sort of common bubble eyes like the red and whites and you can also get calicos as well now the bubbles are very delicate and they can sometimes burst so if you're keeping these fish i would definitely keep them in a very minimalistic environment nothing with any sharp objects or any real boisterous fancy goldfish i would definitely select other slow moving fancy goldfish and if possible actually even do just a bubble eye variety only aquarium now if the bubbles do burst they can heal back to their normal shape but they may not reach the same size as they were before leading to a slightly imbalanced fish now as you will notice they have very flat backs just like a lion head goldfish and they should have a nice split between the tail creating that double caudal fin as well now they are very unique and they can sometimes have some swimming issues or some swim bladder and buoyancy issues but when selecting your fish it is always good to make sure it is in tip top condition it is nice and active and swimming and it has a nice vibrant color as well now obviously this is a unique variety and a very strange and different one so if you are thinking of purchasing one make sure you do have the right tank size and setup and make sure you, you would have no sharp objects like sharp stones or maybe sharp gravel as well now these fancy goldfish will do absolutely fine in smaller tanks as they aren't a species that tends to grow that large but I would generally keep them as a species only if possible or as I mentioned with other slow moving fancy goldfish. Now although those bubbles can be a little bit delicate they are still quite a hardy species and do well in most aquarium environments definitely an interesting fish probably one i wouldn't consider trying in the future but what do you guys think at home leave a little comment down below would you consider keeping this very strange variety that is it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed seeing the different bubble eye goldfish and also those pom-pom goldfish as well very very strange variety not one i keep personally but i just love the big fluid filled sacks that these guys have on the side of their face they look so comical very very strange let me know down below what you think about the bubble eye goldfish do you think this is more of a cruel variety to keep one a cruel variety to breed do you keep them at home or would you consider keeping them and also what you think about those pom-pom goldfish as well if you do want to purchase any of the fish seen in today's video you can head over to star fisheries on their facebook page and send them a message or pop them an email and inquire about some of these fish really really cool interesting fish but as i mentioned that is it for today's video if you've got any questions or comments leave those down below thank you all for watching remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping Thank you.